This is the moment you've all been asking for, or some of you guys. We are back to camp, and I got an all-star crew with me this trip. We got Sean, Jason's making his debut on the channel, one of my favorite guys from my hometown area. Uh, I don't think you've seen him on a moose hunt, but he and I have been on a few moose hunts together. He, he married into hunting and fishing royalty, so you'll see him a lot more on the channel he's just a great guy and we got the one and only donnie and we and we got uh sean we got sean here and sean brought some family up so you're gonna see it but we just got to camp donnie started dinner we started carrying in the cabinets as you can see and we got a major major problem it's awful it's awful it's it's 98 degrees today i had a long ride up with no air conditioning and couldn't get my window down either so I'm beat, but it reminded me of my childhood when no one had air conditioning. Or not everybody had air conditioning. Or maybe just the rich kids had air conditioning, I don't know. We've had, we got a problem with our ceiling. I don't know if we made it too tight. Maybe we wrapped the paper over the ridge. Maybe we made the ridge too tight. But we got no airflow in the in the ridge. So I saw a little bit of, of um, water coming out the soffits. 
this winter once we heated it up so that had me really worried and now you're gonna see the peak in the cathedral is moldy or uh, or is wet actually so we're gonna have to do some tear out we're gonna do a little investigating this trip probably Jason and I or Sean's gonna go up on the roof and 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 peel off the ridge vent and see if there's any vent going on at all. I'm pretty sure there's no vent. I think that's what the problem is. Uh, we did have quite a few people during the build say we need to put a vapor barrier, but I don't, I don't know if that would have helped. I think, I honestly think you need to vent the top is what's going on. I think we either put the boards too tight with no room or the metal covered it, or we wrapped it with the paper. So um, we're gonna have to take that ridge cap off. We're gonna have to put, you know, get an airflow going and then put that mesh stuff in there and then put the ridge cap back on. And I think that's gonna solve the problem. But, but we're also gonna to have to peel out the boards. I'm gonna to have to take out the first four foot of that rock sill and dry that out or, or um, just get some new stuff. And um, we gotta we got work backwards, but it happens. I mean, it's a son of a gun. Um, we'll figure it out why first and then we'll fix it. It's not a big deal. It's just uh, more work up to camp. It's not a big deal, right? Uh, it's a little bit of a heartbreaker when you walk in so, and I saw that, but hey, it just means more work up here with Donnie and, and uh, Sean, Brandon, Jason, and the boys, and, and maybe they'll go from there. But look, who's this? She wants to be on YouTube in the worst way, so say hello to her in the comments. But this is the crew I brought up. This is the all-star staff right here. There's Sean, and Jason's making his debut. That's the one that I told you mar married into hunting and fishing royalty. <laughs> And who's this? Rory. Rory, you may have seen her at Jack Traps. She's the one who designs all the Jack Traps. <laughs> Builds them all. Builds all the Jack Traps. And then this guy over here, you know a little bit. Oh, hey. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Donnie's got dinner cooking. We we stopped on the way up, met Stevie, and picked up this, this new stove. It's been Frankenstein, so it's missing a little bit on the front, but we'll, we'll get that taken care of eventually. Jason said we should put some tin foil across. I like that idea. Okay. But we came up here. It's the hottest two days in the history of Maine. It's supposed to be 109 feel, real feel. So we actually brought the generator and I threw an air conditioner in there because last time we came up, if you don't, if you remember when it was super hot, we just about lost Donnie and we ain't gonna lose him to, to the heat, even though he won't stop working. So we got an air conditioner in the window blowing full blast and. I'll show you guys the ceiling that I told you about. It is ugly. Ugh. It is. Yeah. It's a heartbreaker. But. Yeah, terrible. But we had 99 degrees on the ride up. We and did? Donnie, I didn't think it was that hot, was it? Uh, these guys had air conditioning. Yeah, They're in a different. I, I was a little chilly. I didn't put on my. Yeah, these, these guys are in a little different tax bracket than I'm in. Right. You know. put on. We were so poor growing up. <laughs> we had to. We were so poor growing up. How poor were you? We had to rub two nickels together. Really? Yeah. To get a dime? Yeah. We couldn't even do that. But Rory had a sweater on, a blanket. Sean was cold. Jason and Donnie were shivering. We were freezing. They stopped for gas and found out it was hot out. <laughs> and I just was a ball of sweat the whole way out. But that's that's what happens sometimes when you get 360,000 miles on a vehicle, and you and you and your repair guys on the road jumping into power lines all summer. Does the driver window open? No, no. But I ordered a new switch, so it will open. Or I got a hammer if it doesn't. If the switch don't come soon, we're gonna hammer that baby out of there. She'll open. But if it gets any hotter. But tomorrow's supposed to be a hundred. Oh, and then after that, it's supposed to calm down a little bit. But this trip, um, there's a lot done you guys haven't seen. You didn't see the ceiling or put in, I don't think. So I got a lot of footage I could still edit if you guys want to see that. But, um, and, and there's been a lot of improvements since you guys have seen it, just because I haven't had the time to edit. But this trip, the goal is, the goal was to hook up the electric for the generator. But my buddy that was going to come up, it's just too hot for him. He's got a heart condition and he was going to hook up the electric for us. But at 99 degrees, that's pretty dangerous, especially being in the woods. And um, so the other goals are... My goal was to get... I've had these cabinets built for some time. I built them this winter and they've been sitting in Joey's snowmobile trailer. So I was... We were trying to find a time that both of us could come. And this is the uh, the time. So I'm so happy to be here to get those installed. And, uh, 
so you'll see quite a difference in the progress here once I get those done tomorrow. So. Yeah. So Donnie's gonna have those installed, and he's we got some out house work to do, and I might still try to tackle that electric a little bit myself. And oh, we got a new thing over here. A couple other odd jobs. We got a coat rack. We'll show you. We'll install that baby. Yeah. Our our welder made us a pretty cool coat rack with a moose on it. So that's gonna look pretty cool and yeah. yeah we just got a bunch of various stuff to do and we'll kind of bring you along and show you camp life and we're gonna hang out and we're gonna try to stay cool and i think a couple of these guys brought some trout rods so there might be some trout fishing going on Where this trip too like this oh, but boy. dinner started we got oh. we got the cool <laughs> trying to come in there and we got this thing mm. pumping out a ton of heat so we should be cooking outside on a barbecue grill but we got peas taters salad can he, can he turn another burner on? Yeah, Donnie, you didn't get all the burners on. There's oh, still one not on. Oh, we got the oven on. Yeah. Full blast. Yeah. So, yeah, I can turn them off. You're a little Might bit just as well. That wood stove hasn't been fired up. Oh, man. But as you can see, I got some sweat on my shoulders dripping down off my, off my, uh, Sideburns. Sean's got Sean's just a sweaty mess. So mine goes here, Joe's goes on his shoulders. Yeah. And Jason, he's wearing black, so you can't tell. But I got a feeling he was sweating too, because he's I think he's, Rory dumps water on herself. Maybe yeah. I bet you was sweating. No. <laughs> but yeah, so that's gonna be the trip guys. Uh, stick around and hopefully we got some good footage for you. Do uh, steal Dolly seat. <laughs> Sean, what did you think of these things? It was good. Smoked mussels. They're gone now. In the salad. They're pretty edible. And cucumber. Kenny provided those. Don't forget the cucumbers. You like cucumbers. Want to go get your chair? Don't forget the cucumbers. Wow, well, I guess you do like them. Just bacon for you, Donnie? What's that? Just bacon for you? Yeah. Please. One piece of toast? One piece. The toast will be a minute, but the rest of it will be ready. How many pieces of bacon? Two. That's it? Yeah. Taters? Just a few, not many. I'm trying to diet, but I'm not doing very well up here. Okay, come on. Eating there or here? Donnie, this guy's ready to go to work. He wants us to move that counter to work. How you do? Well, you just tell it. Donnie, you just gotta tell us what to do. I'll sit here and drink coffee all day long if you don't say anything. We gotta take a ride. You wanna go for a ride, Jay? Yes, we'll We'll get out Donnie's here. I gotta take a ride after this and we'll go on a moose cruise. Maybe br maybe bring your fishing rod. Yeah, take care. I don't have anything to catch a trout on, I so we gotta catch some and, and get a lure or something first. Look for uh, sea depth. Why? Oh that? yeah, that's true. Yeah, I wasn't gonna take the trail on this trip. Right, just to run out. Well, I gotta get to mile ten. That's put, all I'm gonna do. Can we put it on the? Where are you putting this, Tony? Uh, tip it up towards the wall. Also. I'm gonna take these this strip off. Oh, there's holes in it down here. Well, that's the pose for the. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do you leave these on when you. Yeah, screw that's, that's out? the same. That gives you more screwing. Yeah. That's the same thickness right there. Right. Unless you right. don't want to see the white. you worry about that? No, well, you won't see it. Because that gives you more room out here, doesn't it, Donnie? Doesn't that give yeah. you more room for that? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Looks deep enough. Yeah, that should hold a trout. So there's enough horse flies, I know that. Oh, you trying to hit him on the head? You got one already? <laughs> he got a trout already. <laughs> I don't know if there's any fish in there, Joe. <laughs> you hit him right in the head. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. Live native brook trout, literally in a brook, side of the logging road. That did not take long, Jay. All right.
try a bit of better cast. That wasn't a very good. Is it wrapped around the tip? There you go. All right. I think they only have to be like six. Oh, he, oh, he hit it twice. Those are tiny. Did you see him? I'm in the, yeah, I did. I'm in the tree now. That was cool. <laughs> First cast. Whacked him right in the head. You asked me to. How Ooh, look at the, oh, my God. Eyes. Dude, look at that. It's a beaver. What is that? It's huge. What? Where? Oh, you, you don't have glasses on. Something... What the heck? It's a beaver. A beaver just swam across. No. I swear on my life. Joe. I swear. You watch what? Something went in a hole over there. It was three foot long. Three foot? Yeah. There's not even two feet of water Dude, I swear on my life. I don't know if you'll see it on the video or not, because I got my, I got glasses. Polarized, polarized glasses. glasses. You didn't see that? No, I didn't. Dude, the, the thing was like three foot long. I could, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. It had to have been a beaver. And it went under that hole right there. There's a bank in there. I hope the video picked that up. What'd you get? I got a tree. You're still videoing that, aren't you? That would have been awesome if you caught that beaver. <laughs> yeah, the other two were tiny. All right. Let's try this side. I, wanna, I, got a, I got a worm rig, too. Yeah, I got that worm rig, too. There's enough water there to hold a fish. Oh, look, that beaver come out of there? See, it's all mudded up. I don't think there's enough water on this side. No. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh. 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 oh, that was a good one. Come back, come back, come back. Come He's back, still there. Back. Good throw, good throw. You got him. Oh, he just fired it. He's all over it. Joe, I don't know if another, I can reel that in. Another giant rookie. Oh, another one. <laughs> That's the biggest brookie you've ever caught. <laughs> you could you could eat that in one bite. Is that a brookie? I can't even tell yet. I think it's a chub. No, that's oh, a, brookie. a brookie. That's the smallest brookie I've ever seen. Look at the colors on that thing. I'd get it mounted if I were you. In a sandwich? There was a bigger one. Did you see the bigger one? You had two others come at you. Oh, there's a decent one swimming right there. A bigger one there. Oh, of course there is. You're going to swim away by the time I get this stupid thing on here. It might be a deep pocket up above. What's going on? It's all wrapped up in the... Couldn't be any worse of a time to get wrapped oh, up. Oh, look at all those fish swimming. Oh, stop it. You have glasses to tell me there's fish swimming. Oh, there's a good one right there. Just I, went in the pipe. Of course there is. Look at the leech. There's a leech swimming right there. Holy cow. You probably can't see it. Are you making it. up No. I'm gonna put No. I'm going to put the lens through my glasses. You can see that leech. You can't see that leech? Yeah. I can see it without glasses. Huge leech. See that stick pointing right at us? Yeah. Uh, 12 inches this way. There's, there's a, a black thing on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, you watch. It's, it's swimming all around. Big leech. There's so many fish right here right now. That size are a little bit bigger. There's fish up against the bank over here. That's why I... What have you got yourself into here? Let's you, just cut it. You hold this, I'll fix it. Gonna, no, just another, hold this, I'm I'll fix it. I'm going to get another one. It's wrapped around the hook. Can we use the magnifying glass on the... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. What kind of... And of course, it was the little tiny fish that did it. Oh, you might have got into your braid. Into the braid. Like the hook. All, All right. right, it's okay. We'll cut it. Let me go grab the other one. Okay. Here, just set it right down. You could set everything down. If you can see you can re here. All right, you re rigged that one. I don't see any yet. Oh, here they come. Here they come. You got him. You got him. He's on. He's hooked. Oh, reel's going. Reel's dragging. Oh, get him in. Hoist him. That one's a chub. That one is a chub. First he has to suck up my worm. All right, folks, that's the difference. That's a, ch that's a chub. No. Crick chub. You know those other ones are bigger than that. 
Here they come. I see them all. See them? Hey, you got another one. What are we into, Brookie? Right? That is amazing. Yeah. That is just... Oh, good I'm hands. I'm sorry, buddy. Look, Mom, no hands. Tiger pretty, trout. Pretty, pretty colors. You get my worms at the house? Yeah, yeah. And I'm digging my worms, digging my worms, because I'm in the house pasture, so the chickens are out with me scratching. Well, the chicken soon realizes, you know, there's some oh, geez. small worms that I can't get. Yeah. Well, next thing I know, I've got my head turned. She's in my worm bucket. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. oh, sucking up the worms. Oh, man. All that work for nothing. Well, she does give me eggs. Yeah, that's true. That's the cast of the day. Oh, look at them breaking upstream. You got hit. I heard it, felt it. Where is he? He's gone. All right, let's see if we can get one more. All right, one more pasture. We'll, we'll find oh, some greener he pastures. Right oh, he just ate the fly. Oh, did he? Yeah, that's where the fly was. You need watch your back. Use your legs. <laughs> it's a chub, uh, I think. Large mouth chub. We got. Oh my God! From the track. Ooh, six inches. Get your teeth. Easy. Yeah, dollar bill. That's a keeper. Oh yeah, let's go before the warden gets us. You want the other one? Is there another one in there? Yeah. Yeah, let's get them both for Donnie. If he's six inches, uh, it's just got it here. Yeah. Does he make a George Washington? Oh, yeah, he's a seven incher. That warden's not far behind us. We better hurry. <laughs> Is he six? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's right on the seat. My tape measure. You can't fold the dollar. I can. He's longer. Yeah. How many do we need? Five each. How many does Tony want? Five each. Five. Could you see him? I can't tell you all my tricks. Oh, look at them all right there. Oh my God, Jay. There's 40 of them sitting right there. Do you see them all? Right here in this deep hole? Right to the left of your lure now. You're about to get, yeah, see that? There's about 40 fish right there, believe it or not. You're getting attacked. This is like fish in a, in a barrel, ain't it? See, there's a trick, guys, you can do if it's close to being six inches is you take that dollar and you just kind of fold it like that. And now it's, if he goes the length, you're good to go. Because they say it's just got to be as long as a dollar. Num num. What's this fish? Bouncing around the ground over here. What's this fish? Which one? Oh! <laughs> you, we just, why yeah. don't we just pick them up? Hold on, measure that guy first. Yeah, we're good. Oh, good. Yeah. So the first moose hunt with Lori, we're we're up in our up in our special zone. Her brother Timmy's doing the calling for us. Kind of early in the morning, and uh, he taps me on the shoulder and he's pointing. You know, geez, down there, I couldn't hear it. Now some say I have a little hearing problem, but but you can see brush move. You can't mistake that. Well. 
what it was is the, the trees were hitting the moose horns as he's walking up through. So I'm not remembering where, who's standing on what side and who, but so Lori and I get up and it's bright, it's just barely daylight. So we stand up and I can see the moose, but Lori, she's a foot shorter than I am. Like just can't see it. I remember giving her the chance and she said, I can't see it, go ahead and shoot. Her version is I stepped in front of her, <laughs> she puts her gun down and I put a round into it. It runs 15 feet, I put another one into it and it falls over. And she never got to pull the trigger. Oh no. And that was her moose hunt. Oh man. So I said, okay, you know, next one is, you know, it'll be your moose. Yeah. I don't want to tell you, but you know, time goes by. Bingo, Lori gets another moose permit. And she graciously puts me down as a subcommittee. That's a mistake. Yeah, well, that's what you do when you're married. <laughs> we're hunting, we're hunting. We don't, you know, we're going along. And uh, I gotta have one of those, I gotta run in the woods moments. So we just crank her up a side road and I go right to the end of it. Go find my favorite birch tree, come back. And uh, we're, we're coming back to the truck. And uh, what was that? Okay, come back to the truck, no big deal, life goes on. Drive around some more, okay? Late in the afternoon, we're checking out stuff and Lori's like, well, let's go check out that road we found. About 4.30 in the afternoon, okay. Drive up there, walk up, no moose. So we parked it 50 yards short. Get back into the truck, and we had just switched drivers, so now Lori's in the passenger side, I'm driving. And it's a road like this, you can't turn around. So she said, just go to the end of it, we'll turn around, come back. We drive up to the end of it, there's a bull moose standing right there, her side of the truck. And I said, I don't want to shoot your moose. She said, just get out, take my gun and shoot it. <laughs> Get out of the truck and drop the moose. So she had a second permit. And, oh no, she's over two. And she's over two, but we got two moose. Yeah. So you're coming out of the woods with a moose. You know, this is like a great deal. <laughs> you let her cut him up, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, she yeah. is a great cutter upper. Oh, thinking. Got him. Yep, big one. Hello, rookie. All right, you're going bad. You want your big brother. What do you got? Chub. This is where they'd be right here, buddy. It's flushing out right through there. There's a deep hole. You might be able to dip her right in. Look at all them days. See this? I don't know if you can sneak up on it or not. Oh, you got one. You got one. Oh, he dropped it. You got him again. Nice. What is it? Nope. Nice. That little guy, ain't it? He is, but I don't think he's in a... He ain't gonna make a dollar bill unless you fold it. It might make four quarters. Nice one. He went upstream. Oh, really? Try right next to the dam. Because it's, it's super deep right here. Oh, oh, you got a good one. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. Oh, shoot. It got the worm. Oh, I can. Is he in that rock? Yeah. Is that what I can see? Yeah. See him? That one, there's a keeper and there's a small one right there together. He's right under you now. Yeah, he's looking. He's looking. Oh, he's not so active. He got. He tasted it. Oh, you got one, don't you?
pretty sure he tasted the rainbow. He, he, uh, I can still see it, though. You see it? Here, let me swap with me. I, I got a good view of him. Ready? Big cast. He was right there. Yep, I'm on him. Oh, he's not. Oh, see, he's on it. Oh, he keeps missing it. You see it? Yeah, I did. Dang it, now I don't see him. But he's got to be in that hole somewhere. He, he swiped. Oh, there's a smaller one there. I see the smaller one. Oh, oh cast he, down. He did. He swung towards the outlet down there. Yeah. I don't you see him? Yeah, but I don't think that's the keeper. Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, right. Because yeah, he, he attacked it instantly. Yeah. I think that's the smaller of the two. Oh, you can't touch it. I guess that's how they just stay big is eat the bait first. Yeah. I'll try for the smaller one just to get one back. Joe got one. I don't know how got small him. it is, Joe. Got him. Think that keeps? I wish I had my dollar bill with me. Oh, wait, do I have it? I do in my pocket. No, you I'm not wearing it. We want that back. <laughs> you got it back. Yeah, that, that keeps, I think. I should put a couple of the marks on the... You going to put them in your pocket? This was the smaller of the two. All right, one more cast in there. Oh, he's got something else there. Let me just see if I get that dollar going. Ah. Yeah, I do have it on there. Uh, drop your line, I'll hold it. Try catching you in the thumb. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What do you do? Is that his bait? Mm -hmm. What's he eating? Dace. Oh, is that his whole stomach? Dace. Oh, yeah, oh he he's eating a dace. He keeps. All right. Do we need that for bait? Yeah. Keep filming because the other one's considerably bigger than this one. Well, we got bait now. Got you want a piece of the days? Oh, there's a fish. There he is. He's I'm getting way on my little guy. Is it crawl? Oh, it's a base. Something's wiggling in my pocket. <laughs> I'm not checking it, Joe. Would you reach him and see what that is? <laughs> it used to be chapstick in the old days, but I don't know what it is now. It's <laughs> you could have a six inch trout in your pocket. <laughs> you thought I was just happy to see you.